Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Trophy of the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to The Last of Us Part 2. While I'm uh, very diligently reloading all of my weapons, I've, uh, I'm still right next to the boat. Remember that thing? The boat? I'm gonna grab that thing, because it's our boat now. Yes, there we go. We killed a lot of people to get this boat, and that's exactly what we're gonna do right now. But before we do that, we had to jump down here, so there's a, a part of the area here that I haven't really checked out yet, and I killed a few people from a long distance away here. Um, although it seems like I could have gone over here <laughs> from the very beginning. Yeah, I kind of made a mistake here. Apparently I could have just gone straight, straight across. Okay, never mind. Still need to check this side out though. Damn, okay, this game really doesn't like you looking around. I found a few more bullets, which is nice, but uh, the game has been pestering me with hidden skulls and babies. And there we go, starting the boat. Uh, okay, drive and L2 is reverse. This is a bit weird, but weird controls. Uh, there we go. Uh, we're going over. Oh, wow. Okay, camera keeps flipping us, but there we go, into the rapids. Let's go find Tommy! Is there an area to the right? No, I did a very cool 360. Whee! This is no longer The Last of Us, this is The Raft of Us. Yeah, that was a very bad fun. Going down! Okay, this, this boat doesn't make any sense. There's an ice cream truck here. There's the Ferris wheel. Um, the Ferris wheel. Good, good question. I have no idea where it is. The boat controls really weirdly. So there's an area over here. Well, there's areas everywhere, but this seems to be a way to go. How do I get out of the boat? Ah, triangle. There we go. Use listen mode to locate the boat. Ah, okay. It doesn't make any... Probably just the engine that you can hear rumbling. I would think. Anything else here? Doesn't seem like it. A few bullets, which I'll gladly take. And a bunch of pills. One more pill over there, and that's about it. And that might actually mean that we can buy... No, we still have only eight uh, pills. That's just the, the only pills we have was just the ones that we just picked up. Okay. Continuing on. So I can obviously see this area. You can, you can go over that, but I just want to check out if there's anything over here. Because it's always suspicious when there are areas that you can go to and not really do anything in. So let's just use the boat to go over that and then we can go inside of this building but I'm guessing the boat is going to stay with us for a while so I can go over there but over here there's like a tiny little bit of land that I can go onto and aha there's a pipe wrench a med kit but I'm full up on med kits can I actually go up here? No. Doesn't seem like it. So just a, a melee weapon and a first aid kit. My machete still has six charges and I uh, haven't upgraded it yet so far. So that's uh, going to be way better. So moving through the building here. Luckily there is a pop through here. Through. Yeah, indeed. I'm assuming we can go through. Yeah, we can go down the rapids over there. Uh, and that's exactly what we're going to have to do, I suppose. Through the barbed wire, over the barbed wire, or not. Wait, I should probably reverse. Because I need the speed. I'm just going through this a bit too slowly. There we go. And then go down. This is cool, by the way, how the, uh, the river took over a large part of the city. Um, can I actually go in there? Ah, yes, because it's even very, very shallow. So we can just explore rooms along the sides here as well and grab all the supplies that we can get from the drop. There is, there is a card in here. Thank you. Seth Lopad. 
Ah, of, of, yeah, for cephalopod. <laughs> cephalopod, but ceph oh, cephalopod, yeah, okay, I get it. I got the reference, it's an octopus, and it has a fancy name that's not usually for octopuses. There we go. Back in the boat, and seems like we're gonna have to open up the gate here. So that's just, yeah, that was the shortest the shortest trip we had with the boat, I think. There are several smaller rooms here. We might be able to find something cool. But let's just focus on opening the gate first. I'm assuming it's going to be over here. Ooh. Okay. That's a big steel beam. Aha. And that's something that we can change and... There you are. The Ferris wheel. So we're going in the right direction, which is good. And it makes sense, because the river, of course, was going in that direction. So, Abby, I begged you to stop. You brought this on yourself. I've actually never checked if there was anything else. Um, aha. What I know, the former fireflies from the hospital. Makes sense. It's what my gut saw, said all along. The WLF took a bunch of them in after they disbanded. They traveled to Jackson specifically to torture Joel. Killing him wasn't enough. Abby is hiding out in the aquarium. What I don't know is why is Abby hiding out? Does it matter? Why, where are the rest of them? Do they matter if I get Abby? No. Where's Tommy? Is he still alive? He has to be. Should I tell Dina and Jesse about this? No. They can't understand. They can't know what Joel did. They won't understand. Do I even understand? Okay. So yeah, I kind of forgot to read that last time, but uh, hopefully that's enough to... Uh catch me up on everything and we get another letter from this guy who apparently shot himself Beth if you're reading this then I'm toast I hope it wasn't those scar fuckers but some blaze of glory bigger hope is you remember where we hid the stash code is 701264 it's not much but it's all I have I want you to take it be well Randall so 701264 70, 12, 64, 70, 12, 64. I'm assuming it's gonna be in that locked up area down there. So let's drag this down with us. Oh, Jesus. I can crawl through here. That is... Where's this go? That's like heavy concrete slabs. I don't wanna risk getting crushed by those, but it does allow me to go through the window and then all the way down here and that gets me more canisters explosives and the safe that's probably the easiest safe in the game then so uh 70 1264 yeah the other safes were a little better done than this uh we got seven crafting materials which is indeed not much but two shotgun shells and revolver ammo and yeah, those pills are really, really nice, though. So let's check over here. There's some more rags. And other than that, don't really see anything. So why did we even go here? All right. Um, I didn't really open up the door now, did I? Because I can do this. But that's going to close again. No, because it's gonna go down, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna lose that opening, aren't I? No. Okay. That. Okay, so that entire area was optional. Yeah. Fair enough. Boat controls, alternate boat controls are available under the accessibility options. Ah, because this game is heavy on the accessibility options. So let's go down. And that's that. The Seattle Sleep Warehouse. I'm guessing that's going to be our next stop. Aww. I'm going to have to start that again. 3, 2, 1. Uh, nope. No, that was wrong. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Restarted the engine. Is that going to be something that we're going to have to uh, keep in mind if we end up in combat somehow? The weather in this game, by the way, is really, really depressing. Constant rain, constant downpour, a little bit of storms. 
And then there's also this, which seems to continue on. But let's check out this, whatever this is. It's a manufacturer of some sort, but maybe they are... No, this is another workbench. But I don't think I have... Ah! That's a trophy for finding workbenches, I suppose, because I don't think I can make anything yet. I don't have enough... Uh, spare parts to do that and I don't actually see any over here either because we've uh, we haven't seen any enemies just yet so there we go okay <laughs> is there actually something I can do here because this seems to be yeah that's a locked door for sure and okay there we go through the glass I'm actually going to check, was there a way for me to go up there? Because it seems like I should be able to get in the upper levels, but... Apparently not. Okay, moving on. But this game is so pretty, come on. Can't deny that, right? And this is the Carty Hotel. Seems like the obvious way forward, which course means that I'm gonna just take a slight detour to see if there's anything around here doesn't seem like we can even get off aha but there's light in that parking garage and light probably means humans humans but uh, that also means that we're gonna check out the hotel first just in case we miss any resources over there which there's probably gonna be something um, although Aha, yes, there is. There we go. There's a shotgun at least, so that's going to be ammo. And I lost quite a bit of ammo over there. And okay, she ignores the ammo and goes straight for another letter. If any wolves read this, warn Isaac and the others, the rumors are true. There's a new infected out there. Looks like something made it halfway to a bloater and took a turn. Ugly motherfucker, maybe all the rain around here caused a mutation? No idea. It was slow, so I put it down easy, but when I went to check it out, all these pustules on it exploded. Whole right side of my body is burned, some kind of acid. If you see one of these things shambling towards you, stay back. So yeah, I never found out the most efficient way to taking, a, taking out the shamblers. But I'm guessing that a shotgun should be able to work. Oh, and this is... I can go under here, can't I? Ah, oh, no, okay, never mind. I do love the touch because this is of course the ceiling of the sprinkler over here. That's that's a nice touch, isn't it? Aha! And even more resources, but we're full up on pistol ammo apparently. Also nice. Uh, I'm gonna reload my revolver though because that's gonna come in handy. And I think I can also now fully um, reload the shotgun. Oh no, that's already reloaded. Okay. Oh wait, there's more pills. There's more pills. Sorry, buddy, yeah. Uh, indeed, half of his body is burned because of, even that is really nice that they put in that detail that the corpse actually looks the way that the uh, notes describes. But other than that, there doesn't seem to be anything here. So that guy just died to a shambler, even though he killed the shambler first. So indeed, don't get too close to shamblers because they'll, uh, they'll explode in your face. Wow. Uh-oh. Let's just go back. Let's just go back. Um, so WLF is fighting the Scars. The Seraphites. Can I actually go out of the boat and then... Oh God. Because I think... Oh, wow. That, that's a bit of a glitch. But... These guys are not looking in my direction, okay. So might be able to slip through. They're gonna spot me in a minute, aren't they? So I think I should be able to snipe them from over here. I mean, they see the boat, right? This is not... There we go. Oh, wow. Okay, there's one over there. There's one over there. Ow. 
Oh wow, there's also a bullet drop on the on the rifle. I forgot about that. Ow. There that goes. Where's the one in the window now? There we go. I think I missed one. So this is a sniper battle from the boat. Um, aha, wait there. Damn it. That was my uh, second to last shot. Where is she? No, she's hiding out somewhere over there. So let's just boat, take the boat now. I think I should be able to handle this. So let's just go over here, put the boat in parking. No, no, Ali, don't relax. Don't relax. We don't know what's down there, so let's heal up underneath the building. And now... We should be able to go down. Yeah, there's definitely somebody still up there. Where are they looking at? Okay, so if I move over here, that should be fine. There's one. I think I can cross. And then that Molotov is full up. So I think if one of them comes down, I can probably kill the other one with the pistol. There we go. There we go, and there we go. It didn't look like a headshot there, but apparently I, I killed him with a headshot. That's probably it. Yeah. Okay. Whew. So if I can get some rifle ammo, that would be nice, because I spent it all trying to fight them. Ooh. Well, this is definitely nice. Uh, I can swap the machete just to have an extra charge um, and then the pistol ammo I'm full up on again more arrows is always nice and other than that yeah I'm just gonna scrounge around so look there she is again you again you again indeed the leader of the seraphites of the scars I just want to start seeing if I hear the name scar so prepare so sadly, no rifle ammo on the snipers we killed. But maybe there's something else around here, because of course they killed those uh, WLF soldiers outside with the Molotov. So I'm guessing if I can find those corpses, there might be stuff... Aha, there. There are those corpses. Did you guys drop anything? No? Okay, no. So they're just bloodied over here. And there we get a nice batch of parts. I found a few smaller batches as well, but nine is always nice. So I think I got about 15 parts out of that. And other than that, I think we're fine. I didn't use any of my throwables either. And they don't seem to drop any rifle ammo. That's a bit sad, but hey, I'm gonna take what I can get. There's a note attached to the wall here, the jewels. I can probably flip that over. Ooh, that's a big one. Jules, I hope you can forgive me. We were soaking cold hungry when we reached their encampment. A Seraphite's woman took care of us. Hot food, blankets. She radiated love, treated me like one of their own. Her name was Karen. The plan was to board her boat and head for Haven the next morning. Then, gunfire. Karen's head exploded from the bullet. Her blood spattered all over me. We scattered. Zachary was shot. It was our people. Two wolves, they walked right by me. I think they thought I was their prisoner. And then something in me snapped. I pulled out my pistol and shot them in the back of the head. Zachary is sturdy and will pull through. We buried Karen and said a prayer for her. Zachary gave me a new name, Emmett. He says it means truth. I shaved my head and cut my face. Jules, I wonder if you'd even recognize me. Emmett. Okay, so we don't know her original name but something in her snapped uh, or, or him snapped because he called himself Emmett so it might be my big guy as well I don't know guess we'll see about that later on if we find any more notes that are marked by Emmett then I suppose who changed sides from the WLF to the Seraphites because they took him or her in and then 
they got shot by the WLF themselves and they just made a conscious choice. Okay, so that's just a little detour. We could have probably even just passed this building without doing anything. Now I wonder, can I actually go into that crashed monorail or train or subway? Oh yeah, we can. We definitely can. So let's go take a look there. Because this is definitely uh, Uncharted style. So this brick takes me back to Uncharted 2. That is... It's actually funny that you're gonna go in here. Um, but there might be some good loot here, because I don't think... People would be uh, interested to... Oh, what the hell? There's even a rope here. So... Can I open... Okay. So there's a puzzle here. Huh. So if I just... Carry this... And then... Aha, wait a second. There's quite a bit of rope here, actually. And it's attached to that, so if I just put this over here, like that, I think as I see the door is open, um, would that reach all the way down? I don't think it would, right? I don't think it was that much rope. Or, ah, no, 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 I see, there's like a, a platform over there, so let's just grab it all back. The animations on this thing is like so crazy. So we just drop that um, down here and then we go on it with X like this. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Can I rotate the camera? Yeah, there we go. So one and back and forwards and backwards and forwards and jump. There we go. And then we're at the other side. Aha. Uh -huh. So a health kit that we can now use. 17 pills. That is very, very good. And then... Aha. Uh -huh. Rifle ammo. Another sniper. That's really good. That's really, really good. And a note. A note from the sniper himself, probably. Um, is that... No, no. Ah, crap. I pressed the wrong button. Let's go. Let's go grab that back. Uh, sniper's note. I don't know what it's doing. It's like loading something. Okay. Misha, got word that you're replacing me. Wants to give you a few pointers about this nest. The scars are sneaky bastards. Don't just watch the street check... Watch the street check the rooftops. Okay. They got their own sharpshooters. And keep the infected alive. When the scars cross, they have to deal with them. Once they reveal their positions, take them out. Took out a pair of cultists. And now I'm now watching the infected devour their bodies. It's fucking glorious. And remember... Don't get cornered. May your survival be long and your death be swift. Back. Misha. From back to Misha. So is this... I think this is going to have to be back then, I, I assume. And back got... Um, yeah, annihilated by the scars. At least I... Uh, I uh, got, got you covered there. I avenged you. Okay, that's a nice little detour. Let's go back out of the stream before this thing crumples into a thousand pieces. So back on the boat. I do like this um, this this new mechanic of trying to get, get around with the boat. Even though it's not much different than just the horse. Um, it is a nice change of pace. So I think if we go through here, that's probably the way forward. So moving, moving, moving. Uh, check that out, because that was those extra part pieces. And then we get to another building. There seems to be another parking garage. There's a lot of parking garages in Seattle. Which, this being a big city, actually makes sense. Um, and this seems to be an arcade, yeah. Oh, this is gonna be cool. Smack! This is gonna be cool. Time to take a look in the arcades. Please don't let it be full of monsters. I'm just gonna explore the shit out of this place. She's gonna love it here, I'm assuming. Um, I don't even know what this is supposed to be. Are you tossing a ball in that or something? I don't even know what that is. We don't really have that in Belgium, I think. So let's go up here and take a look behind the counter. Come on, open that up. Open that up. So yeah, looting around until we bump into something that is interesting. Aha, we find the flyer, which looks pretty good, actually. 
considering the time it's been here. WNB's Arcade's annual Fright Night. Anyone in costume gets 100 tickets for free. Okay. No, no note from Ali. Thought she was gonna respond to that, but there, there is another level to this. Oh, wow. Jesus, that's a sight. Um, no infected around? No. Okay, so this is, this is pretty horrifying. Damn. Her mouth was ripped open. That's usually something that a bloater does. Which doesn't really put me at ease. Wait. Aha, there's parts on top of this machine. And then... Oh, this definitely doesn't put me at ease. But there's a lot of materials here. A lot of crafting materials. And more underneath this thing. Uh, that seems to be it, though. Yeah, there's a lot of cool games. The so whack-a-mole, motors, the uh, hover goalie thingies, and a workbench. Okay, so there's another workbench over here. I must have gotten the trophy for, like, half of the uh, workbenches then. Ooh, wow. He or she got dragged over here. I'm beginning to suspect that there's a bloater around here. Which, in which case, I'm gonna just upgrade, see if I can upgrade something. Ah, oh, again, the silencer goes off. <laughs> Damn it. What's with the pixel art on the bottom, by the way? Um, so I could finish up. Ah, oh, I think I should go for. You know what? Draw speed on the bow. Yeah, knocking speed and draw speed up. There we go. And that's gonna be replacing the. Ah, oh, the string itself. The bowstring itself, that's actually really cool. And there we go. Ooh, professional looking string. So there we go, that's 50 more crafting materials spent. But I feel like there's something over here that's way too big for me. These people were killed by a bloater. And that seems to be a door big enough to hide a bloater. Okay, I'm just gonna not crouch just yet. There's something I can actually put, move around here, which is interesting. But why would I need that? I haven't seen anything that I need that for. Maybe to open up that gate, but for now, let's open this up. Okay, but that's locked. And how am I going to... I need to figure this out. Wait, ah, there's a window over the door. Never mind, I'm stupid. Oh, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is gonna be the house of the bloater. This is gonna be the house of the bloater. Ah, oh, fuck me. Um. Um. There we go. Uh, um, can I swap ammo? Yes. Explosive arrows. There we go. He bumped into a wall. And uh, another one. Is he not dead yet? There we go. Uh, shotgun. Oh, God. I think I got him. Okay. Woo. I just pushed everything into his body. Yeah, explosive arrows and shotgun blasts. That worked wonders. Yeah, this was not the time to be stingy on resources. His corpse okay. just vanished, by the way. Back to that damn Ferris wheel. Okay, so the basement of this place is definitely fucked. So, I never really thought about it like this, but it actually makes a lot of sense that the... Um, most infected areas are always on the ground, like the basements. Wow, there's all the corpses like melted into the uh, fungus over here. Because of course, fungi um, actually thrive in dark and humid places. So basements are perfect for this type of infection as well. Damn, son. Um, which makes a lot of sense. And it's not something that they put a focus on, but it's something that you see constantly. 
Um, yeah, I reloaded the save file, by the way, because I had to do something in between. But uh, now the bloater corpse is here, so it's no longer gone anymore. There is, aside from a few bits and pieces for healing, and I think there was a little bit of ammo over here. Yeah, there we go. Um, there is a way to open this up. I don't know if there's going to be any more surprises, because we just had a bloater thrown in our face. So I feel like... We deserve a bit of rest. I thought I heard something scream in the background. Okay. Okay, so there's a trading card over here. And that is Kazakh Bright. Kazakh Bright. There we go. Another another new characters. For the I wonder how many of these there are, because there's like a whole lot of them. But for once it actually makes sense that we find one in a toy store. Uh, underneath an arcade. Uh, I should probably be careful because this entire place was infected although the bloater could have been of course the one that kept uh, all the other infected out. I don't know how dominant bloaters are but uh, anyway I kind of called it with the bloater because of the, the face opening guy. Now where does this lead? This might lead us to the other side of that arcade Okay, yeah, I think it does. Where the hell are we now? I think we're up top, right? So this is... Or are, you, are we one level higher, even? Or maybe even lower? Because this doesn't seem to be like an area that we've seen before. Wherever we are, there's a lot more pills over here. So that's really, really good. I uh, can't pick up the alcohol unless... Yeah, of course, I can make another Molotov because I've spent a whole bunch of stuff in that fight. Not that it's too much, but there we go. Alcohol for me. Wow, even this place looks bad. But again, dark and moist, so it makes sense. Was this... Because there's also a hole in the roof over there, so we can grab some more parts over here. And yeah, a lot more fungus over here as well. Fungi, I should say. And then there's another note. Attached to the wall, again pointing towards Jules. Let's turn it around again, so from Emmett, I suppose, yeah. I can't breathe, the horror of it all. We stopped in this derelict building for some last minute supplies before we were attacked by a large demon. It was reaching for me when Zachary leapt in front of it, hacking away at it with its ha his hatchet. The demon grabbed him by the face and ripped his head in two. I knew he was gone, and I ran. I'm not a coward, there was no other way. I'm by myself now. I must continue this journey to its end. I will make it to the island and join my new brothers and sisters. I will find Zachary's parents and honor his name. Jules, I suspect our paths will never cross again. I will pray for your soul. Goodbye, my friend. Emmett. So I feel like we might actually bump into Emmett at some point. It feels like the game is building up towards it, if you're at least reading the, uh, the notes. And I think... If we go, not over here, but if we go across this little bridge, if I see this correctly, this might be the area that we wanted to climb to. Yeah, over here, there it is. I can't really move these things around, but I now should be able to do whatever I wanted to do here. So yeah, remove the pipe so the chain is unblocked. There we go. So now we can put that down and open up the gate. Easy peasy. Only needed to kill a bloater for that. And into the boat. And turn it on. No, not turn it on. Wait, wait, Ellie, wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm with stupid. And stupid is me. So let's just open this up. Damn, there's like a storm raging outside. It's getting worse and worse, I feel. There we go. And then we can get on top of the boats and move further. Jesus. Okay. Need, need to uh, work against the current here a little bit. I don't see how we're gonna get out of the boat here because this seems to be way too wild to uh, start exploring. Oh, we really need to push through. Ah, oh, there we go, the Ferris wheel. It actually took us a long time to get here. I felt when we saw it from a distance it was okay. We're gonna get uh, traveled forwards at certain points, but no, we had to take a boat and we're out at sea at the moment, by the way. So definitely 
some roughing waters here. I don't know if it's. I don't think with with these kinds of waves, I don't need to. Uh, oh, I don't get this going again. Oh God, that's so good. Okay, so we kind of lost the boat. So going up, going up, go. Yeah, that goes the boat. Oh, for fuck's sake. I can, I can make it. You can? You're out to sea, Ellie. This isn't good. Come on. Back over there. Ah, uh, nope, nope, nope. Come on. There's something like a sort of shipwreck over here. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, she's gonna be exhausted by the time we get to this thing. No, 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 no. Ow. There we go. And then we can climb up here. Climb up here. There we go. Wow. Well, this sets the scene. I'm gonna turn off the flashlight for now. Because I don't know how many people there are going to be here. I love how the, the, the very fierce waves are suddenly all gone now that I'm here. This doesn't make any sense. Uh, so, boat. I'm actually slowing down. I'm not doing this on purpose. It's uh, Ali's doing that. Okay, that's not what I wanted to climb. I wanted to climb inside the boat. I think we kind of lost the element of surprise by doing this. Although they won't see this coming. Me coming from the sea. So is this the aquarium then at once? I'm assuming. Uh, so there's a gate over here. There was a side area that I could access as well. Um, this is locked. This might also be locked. Yeah. And then there was this door on the sides, uh, so I can crawl underneath here and take a good look around. So this seems to be a dead end, so climbing on top of the building seems to be the only option. And there we go. We got our first way inside of the building. Okay, pardon our mess. We're updating this exhibition for your future enjoyment. And we're in the aquarium. Great. Anything over here? So some duct tape and that's basically it. And then we're left with just the rain. The rain slowly jamming on the building outside. But this is... Extremely creepy. Yeah, I suppose all the all the fish died because nobody was here to feed them anymore. That is very sad, I suppose, but they're not confronting us with a bunch of dead fish just yet, so let's move through the building. Okay, so that's just the main gate again. Don't think there's anything here. So it is that way that the game wants us to go. But where exactly? Or, wait, there was one open over here. Yeah, there we go. One of the tanks was broken open. And then we can go over here. Well, this isn't creepy at all. Just gonna listen. There's nothing here just yet. What is all this stuff? Good question. It's probably stuff to... Um, ah, this is the back of the... Yeah, these are the, the filtration systems for the tanks. That actually makes sense. Wait, did I saw something crawl away just out of sight? That was weird. So another hole in the wall over here. Probably getting us into one of the bigger tanks, yeah. This is... Pretty and creepy at the same time. Oh, that's a giant window. I should probably not shine the flashlight on all of that. 
Because if Abby's here, she might be stalking me already. Okay, so let's get on the ladder. There doesn't seem to be anybody here just yet. And Ellie goes into an automatic crouch again. I don't trust that my characters do that. Is this where the, the ladder is? Or are we not doing ladders anymore? Doesn't seem like we're doing ladders anymore. There we go. But, okay, locker. Aha, uh -huh. pills and crafting materials. That's really good. How many are we doing on pills? Ooh, 79. That means I could upgrade faster. Yeah, faster aim movement. And then we can go into listen mode range. So 50% more listen mode range. That is, again, really, really good. And there's more crafting materials over here, I think. Yeah, that's that. Any more in this diving suit container? No. Okay, more filtration systems. Where the fuck are you? More filtration systems. I'm just gonna stand up because Ellie's knees are gonna die otherwise. Uh, no items though. That is peculiar. But another door. And before we go into the door, I need to turn off my light. <sighs> Shit. Ah. How do we... There is this ventilation shaft. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> A big light beam coming out of it. it. Doesn't make any sense, but there we go. And I'm definitely turning off the light now. Ooh, that does look like a weak spot over there. Yeah. This is one of those scenes where you usually just suddenly drop down the, the base of the ventilation shaft. I love how even without the light... No. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, we're so gonna get ambushed. Oh, crap. No, 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 no. No. Oh, no, not with the knife. Poor dog. Stupid dog. Okay. Where is this leading? Ah, oh, the dog. Why do we kill all those dogs? I hate this game for the amount of dogs they force us to kill. Um, I'm gonna make an explosive arrow. So I can grab this with me. But, this seems to be leading somewhere. An operating table. So, Abby seems to be hurt. God. Fuck what? happened here? Yeah. Somebody was, somebody was bleeding on the table. So Abby might not be in such a great shape. And the dog was likely there to protect her. Sorry, dog. Oh, I hate when I have to do that in games. It's just so horrible. Um, I could make more arrows. More arrows. There we go. We make more arrows. We can grab the stabby. Then... Anything else? There are doors here. But I want to avoid opening doors before we cleared out the entire area. Because you might bump into something else. Although there's a light in that room. And that usually means, hey, this room is important. Go check it out. So I'm guessing that if I try to open this door, that's not going to work. Nope. Okay. And then we need to go over there. So pistol ready. Silenced pistol ready. Maybe that's a waste. Um, and there's a large area behind it as well. So, as the game wants... I hear voices behind that door, so I'm supposing I can check this place out first. So this is definitely where a few people are living. Um, can we find... Oh no, the doggy oh, bowl. There's a bunch of you. God damn it. I hate details like that. They just make me feel bad about the fact that I just stabbed the dog to death. Okay, so that's nice. So they kind of force you... Owen. Owen. And Owen was also a firefly. That makes sense. And we're putting down something in the journal. So let's check that out. Right in the middle of this... Uh, Okay, so that's... Uh, is that... 
supposed to be a collectible of some sort or not? We can't open that up, so that is fine either. Which means that we're gonna bump into probably a discussion between Owen and Abby. Should should probably not run, but Okay, let's go. That's probably generic dialogue. How many times has Abby risked her life for you? She chose this. I'm not fucking going there. Then don't! Go back. Hello, Owen. Fuck you, Owen. Hands up. So remember, Mel is pregnant. At the moment, we know that. You're that girl from Jackson. Tell me where she went. How do we know you won't kill us? You give her what she wants and we're dead. You guys can survive this. I just need her. Bullshit. You. Come here. Fucking get over here! Calm down, Ellie. Point to where she is on this map. And then you... Fucking match up. You're gonna let them get close enough. Yeah. What are you doing? She's probably dead anyway. It is not worth it. Stop! We can talk back about the it. fuck up! Point where she is. I mean he can see it now. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, goodbye, Owen. Oh, you're gonna kill a pregnant woman now, Ali. Do I need to do this manually? Oh, for fuck's sake. I know where this is gonna end, and it's not gonna end well. Bye, Mel. Oh. Tell me where Abby is. Where the fuck is she? Yeah, we know. But she came at us with a knife, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Tommy. Wow. It's all right. Come on, let's go. Let's go. It's all right. It's definitely not all right, but nothing we could do about that, sadly. Damn. This game. How do you talk about this game with your friends, by the way? Remember that scene where we stabbed a pregnant woman in the neck? Woman in the neck? Yeah, that that was that was not that was not fun, was it? Especially at the same time, our our our, our girlfriend is pregnant, and you don't want to see her getting stabbed in the neck. How the hell did we get back, by the way? We went down the wild water ravine in Seattle. There was no easy way going back from that, especially through the amount of WLF soldiers that were there. Damn. Okay. So Mel and Owen dead in one fell swoop. That didn't even take that much effort. Owen basically died by accident because he got punched by a, an 18 year old girl, woman, in the face. But yeah, as we know, Ellie is really strong. Don't, rem don't forget about that, because she's been doing a lot of physical exercise continuously. Especially in, in, in this game alone. The amount of physical exertion she does. She would definitely be able to punch a grown man in the face and he feels it. 
And then he got shot in the, be in the, in the belly. In the belly. Yeah, okay. There we go. Let's meet up with Tommy and Jesse. Now, by the time we get there, this whole area will be thawed. Where are you going? Needed some air. What are you guys doing up? Couldn't sleep. Come take a look at this. Thought is to head home via Ellensburg. We're in Fall City by tomorrow. We're doing good. Hey. They got what they deserved. But she gets to live. Yeah. Is that okay? It has to be. Mm. I'm really not looking forward to going through Idaho again. What you should be worried about is what Maria's gonna do to you when we get home. We've been through worse. However, as I was passing through some ritzy section of town, I come across this necklace. It sparkles a lot. I think it's real gold. You think it's real gold? It's real gold. Let's see it. <laughs> I know what gold looks like. <laughs> if it's legit, can we say it's from all of us? Ha! <laughs> you find your own damn bribes. <laughs> Thanks for the diversion from the fact that we just stabbed a pregnant woman. How you doing? Fine. Ellie? Fine. <sighs> Thanks for coming back for me. My friend's problems are my problems. <laughs> You're such a sap. All right, how about, uh... My friends can't get out of their own damn way. It's better. Shit! Uh... <laughs> oh, fuck! Jesse! Stand yeah, up! Jesse is dead! This is the air I shoot this one too! <laughs> Don't you do it, Ellie! Get out of here! Stand up! Now! Uh, Don't you fucking dare! Shut the fuck up! Oh. Hello, Abby. Fuck. All right. Stop! Stop! Toss your weapon. Toss your weapon! Fuck. No. No. I know why you killed Joel. He did what he did to save me. There is no cure because of me. I am the one that you want. Just let him go. You killed my friends. We let you both live. And you wasted it. Okay. I'm guessing we're now gonna see Abby's side of things. And on Dad? the back of the theater. Yeah, there we go. Dad! Hello, Abby. Okay. Four years earlier. That is really, really cool. Okay. I'm really excited to get into this, but before we do that, we're going to take a little break. So I'm not even going to say the things I usually say because um, enjoying was not the correct word for what we just went through. So... Thank you guys and obviously for watching um, and when we get back we're going to finally see Abby's side of the events because there might be something else that we just don't know about yet. So thank you guys and obviously for watching and see you in the next episode of The Last of Us Part 2. Goodbye. Okay,